Me, Ty, Doty, Walker. There was a haunted house where every night a bloody head fell down the chimney. At least that's what people said, so nobody would stay there overnight. Then, a rich man offered $200 to whoever would do it. This boy said he would try if he could have his dog with him, so it was all settled. The very next night, the boy went to the house with his dog. To make it more cheerful, he started a fire in the fireplace. Then he sat in front of the fire and waited, and his dog waited with him. For a while, nothing happened, but a little after midnight, he heard someone singing softly and sadly off in the woods. The singing sounded something like this. Me, Ty, Doty, Walker. It's just somebody singing, the boy told himself, but he was frightened. Then his dog answered the song. Softly and sadly it sang, Linchy, Kinchy, Coley, Moly, Dingo, Dingo. The boy could not believe his ears. His dog had never uttered a word before. Then a few minutes later, he heard the singing again. Now it was closer and louder, but the words were the same. Me, Ty, Doty, Walker. This time, the boy tried to stop his dog from answering. He was afraid that whoever was singing would hear it and come after them. But his dog paid no attention, and again it sang, Linchy, Kinchy, Coley, Moly, Dingo, Dingo. A half hour later, the boy heard the singing again. Now it was in the backyard, and the song was the same. Me, Ty, Doty, Walker. Again, the boy tried to keep his dog quiet, but the dog sang out louder than ever. Linchy, Kinchy, Coley, Moly, Dingo, Dingo. Soon, the boy heard the singing again. Now it was coming down the chimney. Me, Ty, Doty, Walker. The dog sang right back. Linchy, Kinchy, Coley, Moly, Dingo, Dingo. Suddenly, a bloody head fell out of the chimney. It missed the fire and landed right next to the dog. The dog took one look and fell over, dead. From fright, the head turned and stared at the boy. Slowly, it opened its mouth and... Ah! 